What's good, fam? Teacher Eddie back with another reaction. Today's lesson, we're going to be talking about the time they tried to steal Abraham Lincoln's body because it is, you like, you couldn't write this. A lot of people uh, don't know about this and I actually did a lesson today uh, about Abraham Lincoln. And I talked about this and my students were intrigued by this story because it it is just so ridiculous, like I said. Uh, but a lot of people just don't know about it. So I figured uh, it'd be an interesting video for me to do and expound upon. Uh, so I found a short little video um, that gives like an overview. And then I'll add in whatever, you know, additional information is missing from this video. But uh, again, a uh, big shout out to Strange Heartland History. The night they tried to steal Lincoln's corpse. September 26, 1901, Springfield, Illinois. Lying in his coffin, Abraham Lincoln's face had assumed the color of a bronze statue. This is what one onlooker remarked following a special viewing of the dead president's body. It was the fifth time in 36 years such a viewing had occurred, primarily to verify if Lincoln's corpse was still in its rightful place. Authorities weren't concerned with the zombified Lincoln terror. Now this is, um, just so people don't get confused, because, I mean, Lincoln's body was just... <laughs> went through so many adventures uh after his death so uh after lincoln dies his body is placed on a train uh for a trip uh across the country uh back to washington for him to be interned it was over a thousand mile trip uh it made over a dozen stops and because his body was you know decaying of course uh they had to consistently uh perform in bombing on the body over and over and over and over again uh because it was i mean the smell was putrid on the train um so what he's talking about right now is in 1901 we're talking about 36 years later they opened up the coffin to make sure like he said that he was still in there and we'll get into why and uh yeah because of all the embalming that had had taken place on that train trip his body was basically preserved uh he was buried with a, with an american flag the american flag had deteriorated deteriorated into nothing his clothes were moldy but his face like the beard even the mole was still there everything aside of course you know from the uh from the bullet wound uh his face was perfectly still intact but it had taken on this copper look to it almost like he had been made out of bronze so that's what he's talking about right here five lincoln's corpse was still in its rightful place authorities weren't concerned with the zombified lincoln terrifying the countryside or even an immortal vampire hunter they were worried about grave robbers namely big jim canale who'd attempted to steal the 16th president's body 25 yeah. years prior canale was a small-time crime boss who made his living from counterfeiting yeah. his best engraver a guy by the name of benjamin boyd was so good that the u.s government had to recall all five dollar bills and redesign them Facts. boyd was eventually caught Truth. by authorities and sentenced to 10 years in prison which put big jim in a tough spot he needed to make money in order to make money but he couldn't make money because his money maker had made one false step with the people who make actual money with this in mind big jim did what most of us would have done devise a plan to steal the 16th president's body and ransom it for boyd's release plus two hundred thousand yes. dollars it was all supposed to go down july 3rd 1876 but one of his guys bragged about it to a brothel owner who then told authorities and now pay attention to this uh, I paused it on the perfect time as well. Uh, pay attention to the two guys that he uses to steal the body. These are two criminals, mind you, uh, who have no experience with grave robbing. And what, what happens next is just, it's a Benny Hill skit. And brought a whole new meaning to the phrase, loose lips sink ships. As a result, Big Jim decided to push the caper back to election night, November 7th, 1876. He chose three guys for the task, including, unbeknownst to him, a Secret Service informant. The three grave robbers. That's why I said the two grave robbers, right? Because the third guy, 
He, he wasn't with Got it. as far as removing Lincoln's coffin from its sarcophagus before the informant signaled authorities. Unfortunately, while running onto the scene, one officer accidentally discharged his weapon, alerting the two other grave robbers, who then ran into the darkness. They were exactly. caught days this later, it, and each was yeah. sentenced to a year in prison for their... Now, what's even better is these are two criminals, and for whatever reason, the, uh, the tomb that Lincoln's... Uh, body was interned in above ground all it had protecting it was literally just one padlock but these guys were so inept in their criminal capabilities they couldn't even pick a lock right so it took them so long to get through that lock um the the uh the authorities were already there just waiting to pounce on him they knew about the whole plan and they had plenty of time because these idiots didn't know how to pick a lock their crimes big jim on the other hand wasn't arrested for that but did eventually end up serving four years in prison for counterfeiting thanks to these idiots lincoln's lead line coffin now resides in a steel casing 10 feet below ground with tons of cement on top of it it hasn't been disturbed since 1901 what's your favorite Okay, so so he skipped over a lot here, but still great summary, great video. Uh, so let me let me give you a, a couple of other points that happened uh, in between uh, 1876 and uh, and 1901. So the grave robbers again, they do get in there, but then they're like, okay, so how do we steal this body? So they try to drag the coffin out. But it's too heavy for them and again like i said by the time you know uh uh they were trying to do all this uh they had been caught right well they were caught a couple of days later so anyway so what happens then is there's a concern now right what if what if somebody tries to steal lincoln's body again so lincoln's body ends up getting buried in an unmarked grave this was their brilliant plan right let's take let's take lincoln's body and let's get a few guys to go and bury it in an unmarked grave until we're ready to figure out what the hell to do with lincoln's body so lincoln's body ends up spending 10 years 10 years buried under uh the the uh the tomb where he was buried in the basement Right? They buried him in the fucking basement in a shallow grave. And 10 whole years goes, uh, go, uh, goes by, and people were like, yo, what the fuck happened to Lincoln's body? Like, where did we leave it again? They lost the body. They forgot where they buried it. Right? So 10 years later in 1886, finally you know they start hunting down the body and then they're like oh yeah we put that shit in the basement right like like it was an old stack of like you know cds that you put away or cassette tapes you're like man i feel nostalgic tonight shit where'd i put them they're somewhere in the basement so they finally get lincoln's body out and they decide to bury it in another unmarked grave until they can figure out what the hell to do with them which eventually happens in 1901 so for 36 years, people were visiting Lincoln's tomb, thinking Lincoln was actually in the tomb. But first he was in the basement, then he was buried out in some unmarked grave, you know, and then eventually in 1901 is when they, you know, build this you know where he is finally now and he's covered in cement because they actually covered him in plaster of paris the first time which is easy to break through right so finally in 1901 they build you know the final resting place for him they bury him deep they cover that shit in cement so nobody can get into it anymore and before, again, before they bury him in 1901, there were 20 some odd people there and they opened um, Lincoln's uh, uh, coffin. And again, like I said, like his body was in perfect condition. 
There are some photos out there um, that people claim to have been taken, but there were no photos taken of his body that day. So whatever pictures you see uh, of a dude who looks kind of like Lincoln with a really fucked up beard, that's not Lincoln. There were no pictures taken that day. Uh, Lincoln's own son was at one of the viewings. I don't believe he was at the last viewing, though. Uh, but there was a 12-year-old uh, kid. He had a very funky name, I forget it. But he actually lived all the way up until uh, 1963. Uh, so there was actually someone in the 1960s who was around who actually saw Lincoln's body. It's crazy stuff, man. Uh, and for all you conspiracy theorists out there, uh, I did a Kennedy video earlier today about the Kennedy assassination, and now I'm doing one about Lincoln and uh, grave robbing. So there you go. More fuel for the fire for the conspiracies. And also the last person who ever saw Lincoln's body died in 1963, the same year John F. Kennedy was assassinated. Illuminati. Conspiracy. New World Order. But anyway, I hope you found this interesting. It is a very, very interesting tale. Uh, I, you know, gave you some of the high points. But if you're interested in a more detailed, um, you know, exploration, there are plenty of books written about it. Uh, Stealing Lincoln's Body is one of them. And the History Channel actually made a documentary out of it about, a, you know, 10 years ago or so. Very, very good. Very in-depth. Very fascinating. The History Channel can still do history sometimes. But in either case, um, if you have any requests for any, like, weird history things that, you know, you always wanted to know more about, I know y'all gonna put in the comments section, yo, can you do uh, Jim Henson versus Stan Lee ERB? Can you do more Star Wars rap battles? Don't worry, fam, I'm gonna get to it. But let me know, like, stuff that, you know, you are interested in about in history, and if something catches my eye, maybe I'll do it. But in either case... Thank you for all the support. Check the links down in the description below for the Discord, Patreon to support Teacher Ready. I've been Teacher Ready, and I'll catch you in the next video. Fam! And as always, shining out the Patreons who keep things running here, starting with the Chancellors, <laughs> Elena G, Nazvanyu, Douglas C, KP, The Hollow King, The Principals, Aaron Shepard, Addison, Clement, Vijandra, Rachel, Alex, King Panda, Freeman, Moody Kakati, Nathan, Chad, Chris Debagol, Sophia, Robin, Lord Gandalf, Luna, Harry, Robin, and Blue Tech. And of course, Rasmus. I've been Teacher Eddie, and I'll catch you next time.